Welcome to Tom's Aviation. Please enjoy his next video. Hey, I'm Greg Hughes at Vans Aircraft, and we're here today. We're going to take a look at the RV-14A. This is our most popular selling right now two-seat model airplane. It was recently overhauled, if you will, or sort of upgraded and adapted to have a higher horsepower engine and do some additional streamlining to really make it scream and go. Uh, it's a two-seat airplane. Actually, some people take a look at our RV-7, which has been around for a little while and think that it's a big RV-7. In a way, it sort of is. It's a two-seat side-by-side airplane. It looks a lot like an RV-7. But in terms of its lineage, it actually comes more closely directly adapted from the RV-10, which is our largest four-seat airplane. It uses the same airfoil as the RV-10 and incorporates a lot of the same design elements, but there are some key things that are different. This airplane is, uh, was recently updated, now incorporates the uh, Lycoming IO390 EXP119 215 plus horsepower engine, which is based on the IO390C certified engine, but some changes were made to that to, to go with a bigger fuel servo, so the fuel pump is a lot, uh, lot bigger volume, for example, some airflow performances through the induction snorkel to feed that, a lightweight magnesium sump, and other changes that were made to the engine, including the exhaust, in order to be able to eke out every little bit of performance that we could get from that component of the airplane. In addition to that, we made some streamlining changes to the cowl, and the cowl now has a different shaped exit area, two smaller exit areas around each exhaust pipe instead of one larger, more rectangular shaped exit area, and we added a belly flap which is uh, kind of think of it as a cow flap, except it's actually just behind the cow. Yeah. And what used to be the exhaust ramp is now closed off, which has really reduced drag quite a bit. And what some people don't know is you can add horsepower to an airplane, but you need to add an awful lot of horsepower to overcome a little bit of drag. And we've done both in this case. And what that did is it took this airplane from a 200 and a uh, three mile an hour airplane to a 216 mile an hour airplane. That's a pretty substantial increase. The RV-14 is a really nice stable platform, has a little bit thicker wing than some of the smaller airplanes do, like the RV-7 or the RV-8, all of which are terrific airfoils. But what this does is it provides you a good solid platform. It gives you that RV feel, that total performance sort of feel, nice, intuitive, uh, well, harmonious controls. Uh, it's a lot of fun to fly. I think of this one as uh, the muscle car of the fleet, right? I mean, when you push in the throttle, it pushes you back in your seat, it launches and it climbs like crazy, uh, and it goes really, really fast. The other nice thing it does is it lands pretty darn slow. You can get this airplane off the ground in just a few hundred feet, and you can land it in about the same distance once you get to know the airplane. So this particular airplane is outfitted with a, a Dynon avionics panel. This is the Dynon HDX screens, two of them. Uh, there's a Garmin radio, uh, comm radio in the middle, that's the GTR 200, which also includes uh, the intercom system, so we don't have to have a separate audio panel in this. This is a VFR setup. It's really common for these aircraft, for the RV-14 and 14A to be outfitted uh, with panels. You can even get panels like this one that's pre-made for you. There's a couple of companies that do that for you. In this case, this one was Advanced Flight Systems, which is part of Dynon Avionics. There's another company called Stein Air that also makes panels. Uh, you might see Garmin screens, and these are, in this case, Dynon screens. Lots of different options available to the builder and owner as to what kind of avionics they want to put in there or, and, and whatnot. You could also, this could be an IFR platform, in this case it's a VFR platform, this particular airplane. The options are pretty much endless. You can keep it nice and simple and lighter. You can get really, really elaborate and extensive and, and really deck it out with multiple nav comms and GPS and go full IFR and, and make it super fancy. One of the great things about the experimental amateur built world of airplanes is that you get to make those choices. So if you decide that you wanted to modify something, or if you wanted to add something else, or you want to choose what kind of lighting you have on it, or you want to do something different on the interior and put in a center console, or what have you, then you have that ability. It's totally allowed. It's not limited like it is in the certificated airplane world. And that's really part of what makes experimental aviation so special, is that it can become, when you fly this airplane that you've built, you're not just going to fly your airplane, you're going to fly your airplane. It's yours, it's designed the way you wanted it, it's really unique. 
uh, you can get great high performance and, and terrific personalization out of that type of platform. That's really what makes it so exciting to do. One of the great things about building an RV is the community of people out there and the different businesses that have been formed around the Vans Aircraft line of airplanes. So if somebody is looking to build an airplane, there's great places to go and resources and others that have built airplanes that you can learn from. But in addition, there's also companies out there that are what we call builder support or builder assist organizations. They can do anything from you go to their location for a class for the weekend, and then you go home and you build your airplane in your garage or your shop. Or you can even ship your kits to them and then go there in blocks of time and they'll help you build your airplane. Lots of different options available there. We're really well known at Vans Aircraft for our builder support services, both by email and phone. We have folks that that's their job. What they do is they help people build airplanes, uh, answer questions if you run into a problem. You know, part of, part of building an airplane is learning to build an airplane. And what that means is that we make mistakes. Trust me, I can tell you from personal experience, we make mistakes. And the support team at Vans does a terrific job of answering your questions, something happens, you're not quite sure what to do about it, or you run up against a situation, you're not really sure exactly what you're supposed to do next. That's what we're here to do is to help you do that. We build a pretty uncommon airplane, super high performance, we'll go fast, go slow, really nice intuitive controls. We build that, we build that unusual, uncommon airplane for the common man. We try to keep it affordable, we try to make it high performance and a whole lot of fun, both in the building and in the flying. Uh, we, we deliver on people's dreams, advance. We wouldn't be here if people didn't dream. And we're dreamers too, and that's what we do. So if you want to find out more, you can give us a call, go to the website, stop by a booth at one of these shows like Oshkosh here. We'll be glad to talk to you.